Hi everybody, this is CR number 16, helper video for the extended response. Remember this week you only have one part of your CR, which is your extended response, because it's a shorter week. So after watching this, you'll understand how to find unit rate, how to put that information into a table, and then how to graph that information. You will have to do a little bit more than one that I'm doing here, but you can follow this process for all three that you have on your CR. It says you are purchasing new PS5 games. Target is offering Spider-Man, Lego, Star Wars, and Ratchet and & Clank for a total of $120. Pretty good deal, I believe. How much are you paying for each game if all three games cost the same? Put this information in a table and graph the situation. All right, so the first thing I need to do is find the unit rate. Because in order to graph this, I need to figure out how much it is per game. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to find the unit rate and I do that by comparing two different things and writing a ratio. I always like to put words before numbers. So right now I know that I'm comparing the cost to the number of games that I'm buying. And right now the cost that they're giving me up here in the word problem is $120. And that covers three games because I've got Ratchet and Clank, Spider-Man, and Lego Star Wars. So the three will go on the bottom. Now, if I am trying to find a unit rate or a cost for one game, that one will go on the bottom. Remember, unit rate is always per one. And I want to know how much that costs, so I'm leaving a blank here on the top. So let's take a look at this bottom number of three. What do I need to do with three to get to one? Hopefully you're saying I'm dividing it by 3. Well, anything I do to the bottom of my ratio, I will be doing to the top because these are equivalent ratios. So if I take 120 and I divide it by 3, oh, that's an ugly looking 3, sorry about that, I get an answer of 40. So what does this mean? Well, the price was on the top, the games are on the bottom. So my unit rate for these games is $40 per game. And that is how you find the unit rate. But now we're going to go ahead and put this information in a table. The x is always my input, the y is always my output. In this situation, my input is going to be the number of games. So I'm going to put a g above that. The output is the cost. And the reason why the output is the cost is because the cost will depend on how many games I buy. So if I buy only one game, I'm going to put that here in my table, I just found out that it costs $40. Well, I'm not just buying one game. I'm also looking at buying Spider-Man. So now that's up to two games. So if they're $40 per game, all you're doing is taking 40, multiplying it by two to get $80 for the two games. But I'm not just buying Spider-Man and Lego Star Wars. I'm also buying Ratchet and Clank which a total is a total of three games. So I would take that unit rate of four, multiply it by three, and that gives me the total cost, which is in my word problem of 120. Now the greatest thing about making a table is that this tells you your X and Y values. So you can go ahead and just graph these coordinates. This is an X and a Y, this is an X and a Y, this is an X and a Y, right on my, right on my graph over here. So my first coordinate is 1 comma 40. I'm going to write it in front of it just because I don't have enough room between the uh, table and the graph. So this coordinate is 1 comma 40. So 1 is my x value. Notice I've already gotten this labeled for me. My number of games are on the bottom, which is my x. And the cost is my y because the cost is dependent on how many games I buy. So if my first coordinate is 140 or one game for $40, I follow my x over to 1, and then I go ahead up to 40, and I mark that first point. Now my second coordinate for two games would be two games costing $80. Here's the coordinate, or the ordered pair. So I'm going to go on over to 2, because that's my x value, the number of games. And my y value is 80, because it costs $80 for two games. And I went ahead and just marked 80, because I couldn't keep putting dollar amounts by 10 all the way up. But each line here, the scale is worth $10. Now my final point is three games. 
Oh, and I'm writing the totally wrong thing there. Three games cost $120, so that's my ordered pair. So my X value is three, so I go over to three. My Y value is 120, so I go up to 120, and I mark that final point. Now, when you are doing these graphs on your cami, please make sure you go over to Shapes, select the line, and then I'm going to choose the color that's going to represent Target's price for the games. Now, you're going to have three different uh, unit rates. So remember to select a different color for each one of your unit rates. So there we go. Remember, if I kept buying games over and over and over again, that this line would keep going. So I have to put an arrow on the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Somewhere I'm going to make a key that says target because this is how much the games are at target. And that would be my key. So this is how you're going to find the unit rate, put it in a table, and graph it on a graph. Good luck.